This is Idaho News 6. It's been nearly a week since Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan addressed the press about her litigation with the Idaho Press Club. Thanks for joining Idaho News 6 tonight over the air or on Roku. I'm Karen Lair. During the event in eastern Idaho last week, McGeehan, who is running for governor, appeared with her attorney, Art McComber, who is running for attorney general. There was speculation that this event may have violated a campaign law. Anchor Jake Garcia goes in depth and has the answers. The state statute in question is the Public Integrity and in Elections Act passed by the legislature in 2018. It states the use of public funds, resources or property cannot be used to advocate for or against a candidate or ballot measure. The lieutenant governor's so-called press conference was held at Ammon Elementary School, which is public property, and that led to speculation of violating the act. McGeehan's attorney stating that he was running for attorney general and making statements about what he would do in this case if he was attorney general. So I asked the office of the attorney general if the events at Ammon Elementary last week violated the Public Integrity and Elections Act. The AG's office did look into it and said, although a candidate for office advocated for his election, it does not appear that a public official or public entity authorized the use of public resources or property for the purpose of advocating for a candidate. While this conduct may violate the spirit of the Public Integrity in Elections Act, it does not violate the letter of the law. The AG's office says if the legislature wishes to amend the statute in the future, they are ready to assist. Now, in an email obtained by Idaho News 6, it appears the school administration was surprised by the lieutenant governor's event at the school, saying a parent asked to use the facility but did not tell them why. In studio, Jake Garcia, Idaho News 6.